All right, thanks for tuning in to a number, another NV Auto tech tip or a how-to video. In today's video, we're gonna go over what clutch to buy for your car. Common mistakes that we see here is somebody will show up in the door, through the door and say, hey, I need a clutch installed in my car. And they show up with some crazy hardcore racing clutch like this and their car is a street car. And then I start talking to them and they end up putting it in anyways and are upset about it in the end. So I just wanna go over a few different things. I'm gonna start off by showing you this. This is a OEM clutch for a six speed STI transmission. As you can see, it has very large springs in it, has an organic surface, and this for everyday driving is just about perfect, okay? The only thing is that over a certain horsepower, this is not gonna cut it anymore. You, it, this will no longer put the power down. It'll start slipping and it'll smell like burnt brakes and you'll wonder why when you floor your car in fifth gear, nothing happens. So what I'd like to say is like, if you've done the stage two access port, kind of deal with your car downpipe access port, you can stick with this and it'll give you good service life and really nice drivability of the springs that are inside of it. These springs, when you're pulling away from traffic light, they absorb shutter or any chatter or anything like that. And you'll see as we go up through the different clutches, the spring sizes change and so do their purpose a little bit. So that's a stock one. This is a stage two clutch, very similar to the stock clutch, except it has metal in the surface as well. So not only is this organic material, it has a little bit of metal in it. It's gonna add more bite, add heat manageability. So if you're constantly launching your car, doing very hard gear shifts, the, the metal in here will allow this clutch to grip a little bit more. You can see the clutch, the springs are much thicker and tighter. So this can absorb shock. Like if you're drag launching it, it'll handle shock a lot better than the stock one would. And this is great for like, we say to like 350, even 400 horsepower wheel STI, this clutch could survive. We've used them in that scenario and um, they work very well. Now on to the next. This is a full center and iron face clutch. As you can see, it has multiple pucks. This is a six puck design and the springs are absolutely tiny. This is designed to be used in like a track car. So if you're going on the road course and your car makes north of 500 or 400 horsepower, this is something you want to look into. The downsides to this clutch, and this is where people make a lot of mistakes, is they buy this clutch thinking that, oh, my car makes 400 horsepower, I need this clutch. Problem with this is because it's centered iron, it's all metal, there's no organic whatsoever, it chatters a lot. The friction surface grips very sharply and gives it kind of like an on-off feel. The springs are tiny. They don't do much absorbing. This is designed to get a lot of abuse and a lot of shock. It does not last nearly as long as the stock clutch or the stage two clutch. This clutch will not last nearly as long as a stock clutch. A lot of people make this mistake. They're like, oh, I'm gonna buy the heavy duty racing clutch. It'll be great. It is not designed to last 100,000 kilometers or 60,000 miles. That's just not what this clutch is designed for. It's designed to absorb heat and take a lot of abuse. You can see this one's been used a little bit and you can see the heat marks on it, even just from doing a few dyno pulls with it. And then the last step in clutches, I guess would be a twin disc setup. So this is a twin disc setup that we use in our 2JZ STI. These are replacement discs. They're 100% sintered iron, just like the other one I showed you. And you'll notice it has no springs whatsoever. So when you pull away from the pits or a traffic light or anything, this thing chatters like hell because the pressure plate's gripping it and it essentially just shakes and there's no springs to absorb. The hub is attached directly to the clutch surface. So this would be very jerky. If you ever see race cars driving around really slow, you see them kind of jerking around. That's one of the reasons is because there's no springs in it. People also think that it's cool to put a twin disc in your car and drive it on the street. If you buy a twin disc like this, it is a very bad idea. Once again, it's gonna wear out fairly quick. This is, this particular disc, this is something that we change annually in the drift car and I don't know the exact mileage we use a drift car every year, 
But if you think about it, this is something annually and we use that car probably for eight events a year and this will be fairly worn at that point. So these are things I want to point out when choosing your clutch, make sure that you talk to your tuner, your builder, whoever is helping you out and don't just go and buy the biggest clutch off the bat. Don't buy, if you think you're in the future, you're, you have a stock car right now, right? Your car makes, let's say, 280, 300 wheel horsepower and you're like, mm, maybe in four years I'm gonna have a 500 horsepower car. Don't go buy this clutch because you think you need 500 horsepower holding capability. Go with a nice stage two, something that's sprung, nice springs, organic and metal surface. This is something that will last you and will not fail and still have nice drivability. Now, some of the manufacturers now realize that there are street cars making 1,000 horsepower. And so what they've done is they have a twin disc just like this, except it's sprung and has organic material. So it has a twin disc holding capacity, but they make it streetable, okay? Uh, the one we use most in our in the big Subaru builds is, uh, and I even use it in my time attack car just to drive around the pits, makes it nice and easy. Uh, the comp clutch version of this, but in organic material, it still holds 750 horsepower, I think they say, and you can drive it like it'd be like any regular car. So in closing, I'm gonna remind everybody because this happens all the time. Street car, Fairly stock downpipe uh, and access port. Stick with stock, works really well, lasts the longest. Up to about 400 or 450 horsepower. This clutch here, metal and organic, still with springs. Probably our number one selling clutch is this right here. And then once you have decided that your car is a track only vehicle, then you can look into these multi-puck faces and unsprung units. Thanks for watching another one of our tech tip videos. If you like this video, check out the link above. Learn about Subaru head gaskets and how they fail and how to fix them. Anyways, see you in the next video.